Hey everybody, um, I get a lot of questions regarding uh, how I have my turntable hooked up to my computer and how to get that audio um, swapped out in place of the camera's audio in my videos so that when I play a record you're not hearing it through the speaker, you're hearing what's directly coming from the uh, needle. So I thought I'd make a video tutorial just covering everything from hooking the turntable up to uh, using uh, software to record and putting it all together in a video editor like Windows Media Player. I'm going to start by playing a song twice. Uh, the first way, you're going to hear the sound coming from the speakers and just being picked up by the microphone. And the second time is I'm going to replace the audio like I usually do. And we're using this old command record for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's not going to get this video blocked after I put all this together. And uh, two, it's got some great stereo uh, gimmicky sounds to it. Uh, it's got great fidelity, so that's what we're going to use for this. So let's go ahead and we'll play this first of all through the camera's mic, see how that sounds. Okay. Now we're going to play it back again, and um, I'm going to replace the audio. So that sounds pretty good. Alright, we've got everything pulled back here. Now I'm going to show you three different ways to hook up the, uh, we'll get the audio from the record player uh, to the computer. And I guess this kind of depends on, you know, uh, a normal record player would just have, there's only one way to do it, and that's to, you know, hook it up this first way that I'm going to show you. This is an uh, Audio Technica ATLP 120 USB and uh, I didn't buy it for its USB functionality or the built-in preamp. Alright, so here's the first way, which is what I consider to be the best way, is the way I have it done, the best way that I can possibly do it. And that's where I have the output goes into the phono jack of my receiver, and then the tape output could be either one or two, it doesn't matter, and on different receivers, different things, but some receivers it'll say tape and it'll have uh, play and then record, you'd want to hook it up to the record, which is an output. So, this wire goes all the way to the computer, and then comes here. To this, this uh, my turntable came with this, this cable here, which we're going to use again to hook up, but show another method of hooking it up. But basically, it's just, uh, oh, let's see if we can get that to stay. This is just regular RCAs, and then this just converts it basically you want to convert it to be able you see to have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the end because that's what your uh, sound card on your computer is going to have on it as an input so we take that and we come back here I'm going to plug this for a second also this is what's tricky sometimes. This one is nicely labeled here. You can see it says input right there. But sometimes you only have this little symbol here. This is the output from the receiver going into the input of the computer. And there that's hooked up. And I'm going to plug my speakers back in. 
All right, so now we're going to go up here, and on some computers, most computers, that line-in jack is going to be disabled. It's not going to let any audio pass through. So I'm going to have to show you the normal way of doing this. And then we go down to sound, click the recording tab, and you'll see the line-in. Double-click that, and here you have a slider to adjust the line-in level. Um, my computer is a little different. Um, there's usually, I'll just show really quickly, my line is actually controlled here. Line in, and then there's a playback volume here. You'll also want to go to advanced and make sure that this is set to two-channel uh, CD quality. But uh, this is where you have to do some figuring out. I mean, it's different for you know sometimes it's gonna it's it's different for most people at this point so you'll just have to do some fiddling until you can what you do is you uh you know make sure your audio is going through play something and you should hear it through the speakers see this is how I can control the volume of that do the same exact thing also by if I disconnect this is the second method now if we disconnect the phono and then we set this switch on the back here the preamp again not all turntables are gonna have this most new ones are gonna have a built-in preamp this is the output from the turntable This is the input of the computer, and we connect those, and it gives us the same exact thing, got the audio through here. We're just using the um, turntable's internal preamp, which is not the most desirable preamp to use in the world. Alright, now I'll disconnect that, you'll see the audio will stop. All right. Now here I'm going to explain the last method of doing this, which is uh, with USB. Again, your uh, turntable needs to have built-in USB. And again, it uses the same uh, preamp that's built into the to the uh, the record player here. And again, it's not the most desirable uh, preamp to use if you don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Uh, if this doesn't matter where it's uh, selected. That's going to go in. We're going to go to plug it in here and the drivers are already installed but they're generic drivers so they work on anything it should work on XP too go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then Sound, go to recording, and we can see some activity here. It made a new, it's called microphone. Well, actually, not saying it now. But we click on that, and then there's a listen tab here. Click listen. And it's coming through the speakers. Now, here's the other thing to, here's the other thing to look out for. Click in advanced. I'm going to lower that a little bit. Click on advanced, we can see its default format is one channel, 16 bit, so that's mono. We need to change that to two channel CD quality. If you don't do this, you're going to be recording in mono. Now it's in stereo. You can immediately hear a difference. So that's how to hook it up on a computer through uh, USB. And that's it for this video.